Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started with tip number one. Focus on them, not you. When a prospect reads your ad, letter, or brochure, the one thing he will be wondering from the start is, what's in it for me? And if your copy doesn't tell him, it'll land in the trash faster than he can read the headline or lead. A lot of advertisers make this mistake. They focus on them as a company. For example, they may say, how long they've been in business, who their biggest customers are, have they spent 10 years of research and millions of dollars on developing their product, etc. And actually, those points are important, but they should be expressed in a way that matters to your potential customer. Remember, once he's thrown in the garbage, the sell is lost. And when writing your copy, it helps to think of it as writing a letter to an old friend. In fact, I often picture a friend of mine who most closely fits my prospect's profile. What would I say to convince this friend to try my product? How would I target my friend's objections and beliefs to help my cause? When you're writing to a friend, you'll use the pronouns I and you when trying to convince your friend. You might say something like this. Look, I know you think you've tried every widget out there, but you should know that... And it goes beyond just writing in the second person, that is, addressing your prospect as you within your copy. The fact of the matter is, there are many successful ads written in second person that weren't written in second person. Some are written in the first person perspective where the writer uses I and other times the third person is used with she, he, and them. And even if you do write in the second person, it doesn't necessarily mean your copy is about them. For example, as a real estate agent, you can take comfort in the fact that I've sold 10,000 homes and mastered the tricks of the trade. Although you're writing in the second person, you're still really focusing on yourself. So how can you focus on them? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's what we'll be talking about in the next video in tip number two.